Okay, hello guys. So this uh, in this video, we're going to discuss and uh, code a complete example of where are we going to use the array and string. So this is just a simp uh, simple example, but a complete one and a little bit uh, complicated so that you can practice your uh, array and string skills. So let's uh, define the problem. So count all of the uh, occurrences of each uh, character in a given uh, string. So what do we mean by that? So let's say I have a string, something like this. Okay, so let's format. Okay, so let's say hello there. Okay, then our output should be something like this. So we print the character and then the count uh, of how many times this character occurs. So as you can see, we ignore if it is uppercase or lowercase. So if it is a character age, uh, we'll count it as one. So E, we have three E's here. L appears twice. The letter O appears once. Mm, letter T appears once also. So we have H, E, and the R. Uh, R appears also once here. Okay, so I. Okay, so here. So the output should be something like this. We need to uh, count each character inside the given string. So let's create a. Let's start. First, let's create a variable that will hold the. Uh, message and then prompt the user uh, prompt the user to enter the message enter a message okay so I think the name is not the proper variable it should be message okay so enter a message and then message is equal to input dot next line okay to get and put the string into the message Okay, so let's print first the original string. So let's say original message so that the user can see what we have what we have typed. So and then let's break down the process here. Now if you look at here in our example, so we printed out each character uh, as uniquely as possible. So let's, I printed the H just once and you cannot see another H here because we have uh, summarized how many times this H appears. And also the E, the L, the O, T, and the R. And beside it is the count of each characters. Okay, so let's uh, break down those uh, processes. So the first thing that we need to do is to replace uh, all of the spaces with an empty string. So it means that removing all of the spaces. So if we have an original message of hello there, it will remove the space between the hello and the word there. Next, let's declare a variable that will hold the temporary message while we are collecting or counting the characters. Okay, so now we need to loop uh, for each of the uh, characters here. <coughs> so let's uh, create another uh, for loop. So we need to iterate and inside the message. So for int i is equal to zero, i is less than message at length, and i plus plus. Okay. So we have removed the spaces here. So now, okay. So let's access uh, each character. Hmm. So what do we need to do? Okay. So, uh, so if let's check first if this temp message then convert it all to lowercase. And let's 
check if it contains a particular character. So our parameter inside the mess uh, contains a function will be the car at and then appended uh, string. So what does it mean is uh, whatever the value of temp message will be converted to lowercase and then check if it contains a particular character and since it contains uh, expects a string parameter we need to append a string empty string in the car at so that uh, this whole expression becomes a uh, string so because uh, if we remove the the padding or the adding of empty string here we're going to experience an error so let's remove this uh, so if you look at here so let's remove the spaces and then we have an error so let's read the error here so it says so the string in the type string is not applicable okay so i can read this character so in the type string is not apl applicable for the arguments which is car which is the type of the car at so that's why it's important to put the uh, string so we add the string into character and then all of them will be converted to string so we converted it to lowercase and then uh, reverse the meaning of it so it means that if this particular character does not exist in the temp message we need to put it in the temp message so temp message is equals to okay so now we need to collect so plus equals message dot car at and then put the i and then append the empty string so that it can be converted to string so this uh, the first for loop is uh, collecting out all of the uh, characters so let's check first if if temp message collect the string properly so hello there okay so the original string is hello there and the unique characters here is H E L O T R. So no uh, no duplicate characters here. So uh, as you can see, it's the same as our example output here. Okay, so we have we have collected the unique characters here. Now the next process is to uh, loop inside the message to check and count how many uh, uh, characters uh, appear in the string so what we need is to create first a character count which is an array okay so it is an integer array and then set uh, the car count to be of the same size as the temp message so temp message the length so whatever the size of the temp message will be the size of the car count because that is the uh, we will match the character count for each of the unique characters <coughs> and then we have the count variable for temporary counting for each of the characters here and then create another for loop okay so let's print something first so characters uh, character count some kind of a labeling okay so and then we need to create another for loop so again we are we're going to iterate in the temp message okay so now uh, in this uh, process we need to get the individual characters in the temp message so string uh, str is equals to temp message that again car at and then index i and that plus uh, empty string and then convert this to lowercase so 
So it means that the STR now contains the lowercase version of each of the characters in the temp message. Okay, and the next process is to have an inner for loop to loop for each of the uh, characters in the individ in the original uh, message variable. So let's create an inner loop. So for int j is equal to zero, uh, j is less than message that length. Then J plus plus. Okay, so now let's get also the character for each of the uh, string message. So message dot car at index J. So because in the inner for loop we are using the J, and then also convert it to lowercase. Now how uh, how are we going to check it? So let's create an if, if str that equals to count, since uh, both of them now are in the lowercase format, uh, we don't need to worry about the casing. So if they are equal, we increment the count. So after uh, each iteration of the inner for loop, uh, let's put the uh, count inside the car count array so car car count okay so so car count i okay so it's equals to count and then let's initialize the count to zero for the next iteration of the character okay so i have an error here so car count okay so car count okay wrong so car underscore count, so all lowercase. Now, if we done uh, collecting and counting all the characters, let's output uh, the values. So let's iterate again in the temp message. And then let's use the car count since both of them have the same length. So system that out that print. Okay, so let's output first the character. So temp uh, temp message i plus see hyphen plus car count and then the value i. Okay, so I have an error. Uh huh. Okay, so that array notation. It should be car at car at index i okay then let's append a new line let's look at it and there a message hello there okay so i think uh, we have we messed the output okay so i don't have any new line after each uh, loop so let's use the print line then run so hello there okay so the original character is hello there the character count is 2h e3 l2 o1 uh, t1 and r is uh, 1 also okay so that is the complete example of how to use strings and arrays and how to manipulate them using the uh, string methods in Java. Also a combination of uh, control structures, the if and the for loop. That's it. So if you have any question, please feel free to comment it below. Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to keep up to date on these tutorials. See you.